so this is my yog and uh, we had seen about uh, permission sets where i created one permission uh, that is a contact create permission right so go to permission set you can see that there is a contact create permission this contact create permission it allows the user that is uh, what user we have created we have created associate admin user that is uh, <coughs> this create permission will allow this user to create contact object right so it allows the user to create contact record let us see where is contact here you can see contact so in our last session we had given this user a uh, contact read and create right so uh, due to this the user can uh, create and uh, read the records like let's go to the user so this was our user test one user our login as user <coughs> and as we log in as user we can see a window and here you can see that logged in as test user one right and uh, it was contact object so let us select contact object here you can see that uh, a new is available right so due to this this user can create any contact record right so this was our last session uh, do we have any questions regarding this? If not, let us move forward. Yes, so uh, here we need to log out as a test user one. And since we have logged out, then we need to log in again. So this uh, login dot sales dot every time when uh, we log in as any user right then uh, we are logged out from our org and we have to log log out and uh, it will automatically automatically do you log out it will automatically log you out right yes so permission set was clear now we'll see about uh, roles what is a role? Let us see what is. So you can see that there is a there is a web-like structure where uh, where uh, there is a CEO, right? And uh, the Western Sales Director reports to CEO. Eastern Sales Director reports to CEO, International Sales Director reports to CEO, right? And here, uh, the Western Sales Director uh, will get reports from Western Sales Representative, right? And similarly, this uh, this is uh, the role of these pe people, these uh, posts. Now, go to Setup Roles. Here, you can see that there is our ARC, Vina IT Solutions and inside bina it solutions the first one who will get the reports will is ceo so let us expand it and see we can see that under ceo there is cfo right cfo uh, and uh, there is ceo svp svp human resource svp customer service and support svp sales and marketing so these are the persons 
and uh, they have separate roles right when svp sales and marketing this uh, this people this person will deal about sales and marketing this will deal about uh, human resource like similarly there are several roles and uh, assigned to all the people so now we will learn about how to assign roles so for assigning role let us uh, do some use case right suppose there is a company or uh, suppose there is a company called Bina IT solutions right inside Bina IT solutions there is a CEO and inside CEO <coughs> there are several departments like uh, there is CFO CFO and it was uh, CO SVP customer so COO SVP and SVP it was uh, SVP customer support so SVP customer support SVP or uh, it is uh, HR SVP sales and marketing right these are the people who will report to CEO so let's draw it like uh, this is CEO CEO this is SVP CS and everybody will report to CEO So this is the scenario that there are uh, there are several people who will report to CEO, right? <clears throat> and uh, suppose so this is the scenario what we have in uh, in this picture. Now suppose there is uh, there is other CEO. CEO suppose there is a CEO called uh, CEO two, right? There can have uh, different CEOs. So we have a CEO called CEO 2. And CEO 2 will <coughs> CEO 2 will report like uh, it is like uh, the person who will get the reports, right? So it will be under PNIT solutions. Also, suppose there is CEO. CEO two is, here. and this CEO two will get the reports from. Uh, there are uh, other departments also, like uh, there are uh, some. There are some training department, right? So like uh, there is a department called there is a department called CTO. So CTO is a department and uh, <coughs> ATO is another department. Right. So CTO is a department and ATO is another department. So this is a scenario. Let us clear it more. Now this will report to him and this will report to him. Right. So this is a case. <coughs> and as you can see that we have a different CEO. Uh, like uh, suppose uh, yes suppose in this uh, like the scenario is uh, like this and this will report to him instead of reporting to that person 
the new CEO, that is CEO2, instead of reporting to this person, this will report to him. So he will get a report from this. Now there is also a CEO, that is CEO2, and uh, he will not get any reports from anybody, right? So this is a scenario. Is it clear? There is a CEO, right? And there are several people, there are several roles under him. And all the people will report to CEO. And inside CFO, there is a training uh, department called CTO. And inside CTO, uh, there is a, another department called ATO, right? So then ATO will report to CTO and CTO will report to CFO and all will report to CEO. There is also a CEO called CEO2. So let us uh, see what kind of uh, things are these. And uh, the scenario is that uh, we have to create some users, right? Inside the inside the associate user, inside the associate system admin, uh, there are several users, right? And uh, all the users will uh, <coughs> get different roles, right? So suppose uh, there is a user, uh, okay, there is a user uh, which will uh, report to, suppose uh, there is a user called uh, for ATO, suppose there is a user for ATO, let us suppose that this is the user number, this is uh, this is like test user three, and he is uh, test user four, and uh, a person uh, that is CFO is uh, test user five. So this is the scenario. Now we will create. So here you can see that CFO is a test user five, CTO is some test user four, and ATO is some test user three, right? And uh, all the users have access to uh, account objects. So all the users have the same access to account object. Let us uh, go to our org and create. <coughs> is the scenario clear? Is this picture clear? CFO can be considered as test user 5, CTO can be considered as test user 4, and ATO can be considered as test user 3. So now we'll create some users. Go to users. Okay, before creating users uh, let us <coughs> add roles right so uh, there are there is uh, there are three persons right three persons like uh, ceo2 cto and ato so there are three persons and we have to assign roles to them so you can see that here is an option called add role right just above ceo so you can add a add a role here by clicking on add this and this will be your ceo2 and save it so we have created one role now we'll create another so go to same roles set up roles and uh, just scroll down and you can see that there is our ceo2 right so ceo and ceo2 both are there yes where is our other person under cfo there is cto so under cfo we have to create a role for under CFO, here you can see that add role will do add role and uh, 
it is CTO. CTO and save it. Now, as you can see that uh, if we expand CFO, right? So we have created one under CFO. Now, if we expand our CFO, we'll get CTO, right? And inside that CTO, here you can see that uh, there is a add role. So we'll do add role here. And this will be our ATO. Now save this. So go to roles. Set up roles. And now you can see that under CEO, if we CTO, if we expand it, then we can see our ATO, right? So this is the thing we have created. We have created ATO and uh, <coughs> we will report to CTO and CTO will report to CFO and all will report to CEO, right? And this is other CEO, that is CEO2. So we have created these uh, three personalities. <coughs> and now we will uh, create users for them. So let's go to users. Yeah, so I I have a doubt, small doubt. Yes, yes. I want the CTO, the test user four, to report yes, to yes. CEO two. Okay. Yeah, so like if we change the entire scenario, so how we are going to assign CTO to CEO two? Who has to okay, report, okay. like ATO has to report to CTO? And the CTO has to re report it to CFO as well as to CEO two. Okay, okay. So you are is... saying that you are saying that CTO that is test user four will report to C CFO as well as CEO two. Yeah. Don't you think it is not quite possible? Yeah, but still, like, is it like can we do that? Uh, there is a channel, right? Uh -huh. There is a channel, there is a proper channel like uh, ATO will report to CTO and CTO will report to CFO and this CFO will report to CEO, right? And CEO is same, like this CEO will uh, uh, resemble to this CEO, right? So okay. if this, if I, uh, the person who is inside CEO is getting reports from the person who is under uh, him, then how can a person like CEO will get a report to this person from this so person? So there is no chance of bypassing CFO, right? Uh, right now, I don't think I, okay, I will answer it uh, tomorrow, right? Okay. I'll have to see this. I will have to see this. Okay, then I will sure. answer you, right? Okay. Thank you. So, now we'll create three users. So this is a test user. This is test, test user three. <coughs> so we need to give some email ID, right? And leave the rest. Here you can see that. Now we have uh, in our picture, we have uh, given them access in account object, right? So as uh, you can remember, in our last session, I have told that uh, about licenses, that this platform, Salesforce platform license user, uh, this uh, type of license is uh, three. Three licenses are available, right? And uh, this user will have, uh, this license will have access to uh, five objects, right? And account was one of them. So here, our user will <coughs> only get access to accounts. That's why we are using this license, Salesforce platform license, right? And here you can see that there is a, a role specification. You can speci specify the roles. So what role we want to give to this person? Okay, this, uh, this is ATO. So, Select ATO. Yes, yes, it's available. Now save it.
and whose role is ATO. Similarly, we create other users. So it is test user four. So the same license. Now oh, save this. And uh, similarly, create one more user. So it's test user five. Oh, five. Oh, test user five. What is it? It's uh, CFO. So its role is about CFO and uh, CFO license. So we have created three users and uh, oh, we forget to assign uh, this user a role, right? So let's assign this a role of uh, CTO and save it. Now you can see that uh, roles are assigned. So roles are assigned and uh, all the three users have been created. So let us log in as a test user. See. So this is our test user three. Now we can see that he has access to accounts. So let us create one account. And this account is, uh, was, uh, this is user three account. So this is user three account. So you can see that we can create accounts, right? and uh, let's go to its account page <laughs> so this is user user 3 account and uh, user 3 can see that see his account right user 3 can see his account and uh, it can edit also right it has a uh, read and edit permission. Now log out as user three and log in. So every time one uh, when you log out, you have to log in. It will log you out from your org also. So users. user three now users user four similarly we'll search for account object here i am dealing with account you can uh, deal with other objects also <coughs> so you can see new it's a uh, test user four so user four account So you can see that user four can see user three and user four account both both it can see user four account and as well as user three account also now we will create for creating let us log out so up to now okay we'll do one more thing users
similarly we'll create one more account sorry it's a user five account <laughs> i'll go to recently viewed and view all and as we scroll down so you can see that it can see user three user four and user five account all the accounts and it can also do some changes in all the accounts right so we had seen about uh, roles so as you can see that we have created some roles uh like uh, cto cfo ceo2 so uh, we have created a uh, cto and ato right inside cfo and there was a uh, ceo also so assigning roles right uh, creating and assigning roles is clear if you want to assign role like if you want to add any department under this under ato is under cto so go to roles i have to log out test here then it will so uh, you have seen we we have created some roles we have created a uh, cto ato like test user 3 will act as ato test user 4 will act as cto and uh, test user 5 will act as cfo yes now we can test right we can test that test uh, we have tested that test user 5 can see all the accounts right test user 3 account test user 4 account now let us log in as test user 3 and see if test user 3 can see test user 4 or test user 5's account right now we'll go to user 3 account user 3 and uh, we'll see whether he can see user 4 and user 5's account or not so login as user 3 and uh, go to accounts so all accounts so you can see that user three can see user three, user four, user five account, right? Why he can see? So let us log out as user three and log in as our so we have seen that user three, all users can see each other account, each other's account. That this is the time when uh, sharing settings come into the picture so uh, under sharing settings sharing settings can also be uh, called as org wide defaults so you can uh, see that there are many default internal accesses right so as we talk about account, account has a public read write access, right? So public, public means anyone and uh, read and write. That means anyone can uh, read the account and any anyone can edit the account. So this is what this uh, object got the access, right? Now we have to change the access. So you can see an edit button here. And here you can see that 
if we do it <coughs> public read only then everybody can uh, like uh, three can also see uh, fourth account five account right so we'll do it private now save it one or more sharing operations has been initiated so uh, this function has been initiated and now it will take some time right so let us refresh it so we have seen that under sharing settings <coughs> there are three users called uh, uh, user 3 user 4 user 5 and uh, there are uh, before sharing settings there uh, they have sev uh, several roles right and uh, just forget about the roles uh, let us talk about sharing settings so if we talk about sharing settings then the all the users have like the test uh, user 3 test user 4 test user 5 all the users have <coughs> some access right to account object and this they have all they all have same access like they had uh, previously they had a public read write access so they can they can read they can uh, create or uh, they can edit each other's account right now we have changed it uh, to private and now let's go to user and see about its effect After making it private, what are the changes we can see? So let's log into test user three's account. <coughs> we'll go to account. All accounts. So now you can see that after doing all accounts right this user can see his own account only right and if we log log in as uh, user 4 and 5 let us log in as user 4 and 5 to see what are the changes so uh, log in so uh, yes, users. So let's uh, log in as user four. Search for account object. And uh, view all accounts. So you can see that due to roles, right? Due to the roles given uh, to it, it can here it can see test user four account and test user three account as well, right? And now there is only one user, so let's see his account also. <coughs> Now we'll have to log in as a uh, test user five. <coughs> and after logging in, search for account. All account. So you can see that user five, right? user uh, test user 5 can see all the accounts and it can edit all the accounts right but uh, we have seen that test user 3 cannot see or cannot edit other accounts test user 4 can see the accounts which is under it so this is about roles that, that the pre, the user which is upper uh, which is above can see his junior's account so now uh, i hope it's clear this scenario is clear
is there any questions regarding this uh, now tejas uh, your question let us create let us try to create whatever you have said right yes to test it now test it now so uh, you have said that there is a person suppose any anybody who is reporting to oh one more one second set up rules now expand it yes uh just you have said that uh, there is a person called uh, uh inside ato ato na cto inside cto right mm -hmm. so so here we have to add role right and whenever we want to add role you can see there is no other options right there mm -hmm. is a single lookup option and uh, we can't uh, even uh, do any uh, editings with this option right yes. you can just you can assign any uh, anybody select from here right but uh, you can't assign a couple of people like a couple of uh, persons right okay so i uh, think it's uh, yeah it's, it's clear. Uh, not possible right okay okay, Thank you. okay. so this was uh, today's session or uh, do we have any questions uh, regarding today's session so, no okay so we have seen about uh, profiles right we have seen about about profiles we have seen about users how to create users how to uh, manage profiles right and then we uh, used uh, we did sharing settings uh, before sharing settings we did some uh, permission sets right and after permission sets uh, we have seen about roles and after roles we have seen about uh, sharing settings so i hope everything is clear yes okay so that's all for today